Alright, well, I'm back here. Well, okay, we're gonna do uh, maintenance on the what's it called? The carburetor for the the Marine Franco engine. We're gonna do the maintenance on it so you guys can see the, how to do it. Alright, so first of all. Yeah, unscrew it from there and try to take off this thingy. Hold on, hold on for a second. Um, take a piece of pipe to go there. All right, so I took off that little piece of pipe that goes from from here to there. Alright, so now we gotta take off the two screws that go right here. As you can see here. Hold on. Put some light there. Alright, so. There's two screws right here. So you gotta take them off so, you, so you'll, be, you'll be able to see the carburetor. Alright. See if I can hold this camera. <laughs> uh. Yes, yeah, I gotta work out. <laughs> All right, hold on. Sorry guys, it's because it's really hard to <laughs> hold the camera and do this at the same time. And hold the screwdriver and the camera at the same time. Alright, so it took off the part that goes on top. That's the part. This part right here goes... This is your throttle. That's... Alright, so... Okay, we got the carburetor out, right? So it's a... Uh, it's called a... Lordo SHA 1412L. It's a pretty small carburetor, uh, pretty basic. Um, this is your pretty much your intake right here. This is where the, the piston uh, takes in air from when it goes up and down like that. Uh, it will take fuel from here, goes down there into the piston and ignite with the uh, with the Ignite with the spark plug, so that way you have combustion. Uh, first of all, the primary thing you have to check for the if there is a uh, a problem starting the engine. You gotta check for there's two holes right here. If you can see them, I don't think you can focus on them. All right, there's two holes right there. Check if they're not pl uh, clogged up or anything. And let's go on this table. Let's take all the fuel from it. It's fuel on this thing. Sorry, Doug. Alright, take all the fuel. And, alright, so the fuel will go down here to this pipe, little piece of a uh, little pipe here. will go down to here. So if there's a clog on the on the carburetor, then we gotta take off this piece of screw here, the little screw, and check if it's clogged up with debris. All right, so we'll take it off from here and check if there's debris on it. All right, so we took it off. I took it off, and uh, there is no debris of on this one. Everything's good and clean. Check if if yours is dirty. Take off the. You can take it off by just 
putting a screwdriver, just be careful you won't break, uh, rip the little plastic on it. Just take it off, clean it with some fuel, and just put it back in. Alright, so check on that if for maintenance. So that way you get your maxim the maximum performance out of your engine. Uh, put it back in. Remember, tighten it really good so the fuel won't come out. Not too tight, so you won't break the thread on it. But tight enough so the fuel won't leak out of it. That's pretty dangerous if fuel is leaking out of your engine. Like start a fire or something. Alright, just... And secondly, on your carburetor, you gotta check. Flip it upside down and check. Take off these two screws from here. This one, right, this one right here. Take it off, and I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. All right. All right. Take it off. Okay, so just take it off. Um, the carburetor is really crucial for. Okay. It's crucial for your engine to start. If there's no fuel passing through it, then it won't just it won't start. All right, so you got your. This is your bowl here, or your where your fuel goes down and this is your float valve this is uh, the device that stops the fuel from passing through the passing through so it won't overflow and uh, pretty much like a like a stopping mechanism um, so this is your okay. so this is your Your main jet. See, all right. I don't think you can see it here, but where you're at, you can see a little hole on it. If it's clogged up, if you can't see light through it, then that means it's clogged up, and you gotta clean it. Or else, this is where the fuel passes up and goes to the piston and combusts the chamber. All right. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple pretty basic uh, carburetor just check for the uh, give it a clean up and that's pretty much that's pretty much it uh, check on these three parts here and if the engine will start then I said that the it might be the uh, ignition coil on your engine or the spark plug that's pretty much it and on the next video I'll be talking about speed wise how can you maximize your speed on your engine and that's pretty much it uh, thank you guys for watching and that's all